Hi guys, welcome to another Rune HQ guide. In this guide we'll be showing you how to get some of the fastest thieving experience rates using the minigame Pyramid Plunder. Okay, so welcome to Sofrenum. You can get here either by starting the quest Ichthuin's Little Helper or by purchasing a Pharaoh Scepter from the Grand Exchange for roughly 500k and teleporting to the Jausfar Pyramid. Okay, so to begin, some of the requirements you'll need for Pyramid Plunder are 21 thieving, as you can see there, 21 thieving for the first floor. There we are. And as we scroll down, um, it goes up in increments of thieving levels of 10 through the floors until you get to room 8, which requires 91 thieving. Um, at room 8, you get some of the fastest thieving experience in the game, at about just over 200k experience an hour. Okay, so I'll be going through some of the items you'll need. You'll need food and anti-poison as a must. But in this video, I'll be using an enhanced Excalibur for the special attack and the Dungeoneering Anti-Poison Totem for Anti-Poison, a Ring of Wealth which increases my chance of looting higher value artifacts, and an Ardoin Cloak 4 which improves my overall success rate of thieving. So I'm just going to take you on a quick tour of Sofrenum very quickly. Um, just to the east of Pyramid Plunder is the Temple of the Lesser Gods, which contains a trap door down into Sofnum's Bank. Um, you should know, however, that to use Sofnum's Bank, you have to have completed the quest Contact. There's the bank there. And when exiting the bank, you should always climb up the ladder, not down, because if you climb down, you'll end up in a dark room with Scarabites killing you. Okay, so just leaving the temple, uh, we're going to move slightly south. You'll notice Pyramid Plunder is the pyramid with the four anonymous doors on the side. And there'll be a second pyramid you can see which belongs to another quest. Which isn't relevant at all to Pyramid Plunder. This building over here contains a prayer altar which is vital if you need to protect from melee. You may need to use protect from melee in case anyone or yourself release mummies or scarab swarms. These can do quite a lot of damage as well as poison, which is why you need both food and anti-poison on you. Okay, so coming back to the pyramid, we're about to start. You may start the mini game by searching an anonymous looking door and trying to find the mummy within one of the four doors. He does randomly switch, but for this video I'm just going to teleport there directly using the Pharaoh Scepter. To start Pyramid Plunder, you right click on the mummy and select Start Minigame, and he will take you straight away to the first floor. Important things to note that you have only 5 minutes, which you can see in the top corner. Every room starts with a spear trap, so don't hastily run in, otherwise you'll uh, you know, find yourself in a lot of pain. So the aim of Pyramid Plunder is to get to the highest floor that you can by pick locking the tomb doors. Not all the tomb doors provide the correct exit so it's just a matter of trying to find the right door. So some of the items of interest you see are the urns, they're the vases everywhere. Um, searching these or uh, search checking for snakes provides your the bulk of your thieving experience which is what we'll be using in the last floor. Um, the grand chest in the middle can be used to search for higher level artifacts as well as a chance of gaining the pharaoh scepter. However the golden chest also spawns a scab swarm sometimes so be on alert for that. You can also see the mummy sarcophagus there. Um, opening that provides strength experience but also um, may also spawn a mummy as well on top of that. And again, another chance to find the Pharaoh Scepter. So we're just making our way to the highest floor that I can do. I'm level 92 thieving, so I can get to the highest level floor. So what I want to be doing, well, what you guys want to be doing, is trying to get to the second highest that you can. And if you have enough time, try to sort of search all the urns for snakes, check for snakes. That way um, it, you get less chance of being bitten and you get some experience along the way without wasting time. 
So here we are, um, floor 7 out of 8 for me. Um, I'm going to be checking all these urns for snakes. Snake bites, um, they slow you down obviously. You get hurt, just like that. You'll say ow. You'll also get poisoned. So again, food and anti-poison. This is why you sort of need it for both those and the scab swarms. So I'm just going to go around quickly checking all the urns for snakes. It's not as much experience as searching the urns, but it's a lot quicker and obviously getting um, more experience per pyramid run. There we are, just doing those last few urns. Bitten by a snake. There we go, so searching the door, final room. Or not. Okay, right, we've just got to search the other doors really quickly. You'll notice um, searching the doors actually gives quite a lot of the thieving experience. If you have a lockpick on you, you can instantly open these doors, but you get a lot less experience. Okay, so here we are, the final room. In the final room, or the highest level room that you can do, you want to right click on the urn and select search. This will give you the highest thieving experience. I got 825 just for searching the urn. And you just gradually go around the room. Um, as, you, as I just pointed out just then, there was a engraved sarcophagus just lying in the corner there. Um, this is unique to the last room, so you do need 91 thieving. Opening the engraved sarcophagus gives you rune crafting experience, as well as finding some unique items in there, such as the Scepter of the Gods which is an enhanced pharaoh scepter giving 10 charges instead of 3 and also finding the black ibis uh, skilling costume which just like any other skilling set provides bonus experience when training thieving so I'm just going around the room um, finishing up searching all the urns like en any other sarcophagus the engraved sarcophagus, sarcophagus even <laughs> um, spawns a mummy or has a very high chance of spawning mummy. So just finishing this room up. There we go. Last two rounds. There you go. You can see a mummy's just spawned over there. So it's ideal to have protect from melee if the mummy starts attacking you because they are quite accurate and they do hit a lot. So just finishing up by looting this sarcophagus. Oh, the mummy's turned on me now. So I'm just looking that on because I'm not wearing anything. So that's 275 room crafting experience and a chance to loot the uh, Scepter of the Gods or the Black Ibis outfit from the um, engraved uh, sarcophagus. I go this way to exit because the mummies can't get past the spear traps, that's useful to know. Okay, so that's Pyramid Plunder for you. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. In my next video, I'm going to be detailing about the solo dungeoneering experience as part of next week's update. So see you then. Take care for now. Bye-bye.